Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Stick around to the very end because we have a live musical performance at the very end. So even if you don't watch the whole episode, skip to the last five minutes or so and check out the live in-studio musical performance. That being said, let's start the show. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. I'm Billy, the host. Welcome back to the show. 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 I'm Billy, the host. Welcome back to the show. I'm Billy, the host. We're joined today by producer Trent Ludzak. Hello. And and com- producer and comedian Trent Ludzak. And uh, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Yeah, I should say that always. <laughs> And our special guest today is a, really a jack of all trades. He's a musician of the rap and R and B and rock and roll genres. I've done house music too. John Mark Hendricks. <laughs> Thank you. You do it all, man. I was really hoping I was gonna hear your angelic voice on the podcast today. Maybe next time. But the song He's going to be a banger. Oh, yeah. But you've been, how long have you been playing music? So on my own, I've been playing for about 15 years. Um, uh, Just, you know, off and on with bands. And I started my solo stuff around 2014. And I started doing like folk country stuff. And it just got really boring to me so i just started branching out and then i got a hold of a a macbook and a doll for the first time <laughs> and then i was just like you know what i'm gonna start making whatever the hell i want yeah uh so 15 years uh i still suck you but you've done it all man you're in an uh, you're you've been in cascaded yeah and uh so they're like a prog like yeah <laughs> yeah they're like a pr- prog post hardcore <laughs> band and like i remember like when i first started in that band it was like really weird because all my friends were just like what the hell am i listening to cuz like n- none of my friends in Tacoa had even like touched that part of music yet I've heard that from other people that they didn't know there was like a whole world of good music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it was, it was really funny. And like I, if out of that band, I mean, I made a lot of good friends. I mean, the first show that I played with them was at your house. Hell yeah, dude! So I try to tell people, like my friends in comedy and stuff, about the house shows we used to throw in. Man. Nothing does it justice. You had to be whack a doodle. <laughs> You've had me pull up music videos to show me how the house shows. <laughs> multiple. I was at that. Multiple show. music videos were shot in that house. Too. I was about to say the last. I think the last one y'all did. I was there. I wasn't in it, thank God. But the last uh, music video. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, fired up. Fired up. That's what it was. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah man, those were good times though. Good time. Swayze's days. Woo! <laughs> stanky, stanky. <laughs> I was stinky. Uh, what? How'd you get started playing music? What made you want to like? Uh, honestly, I got started up in church. Um, I I started playing drums, and I realized that I was never gonna be any good at that. I was and a church musician. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were they were creating them back then. Right? Man, like it was it was so easy to. Back when, that, like back in that de- time, because, just recruit a kid, be like, you could play it. Yeah, <laughs> and there were so many cool like Christian metalcore bands that like I, I just I couldn't resist. Under Oath. Oh man, Under Oath. Um, Sent by Ravens. What was that's the a, one? That's a niche one. What was the one from Douglasville? Ah, I'm blanking on the name. The Chariot. Uh, no. Well, that's there that's was another different. one. Uh, yeah. Well, Chariot was an offshoot of Norma Jean, wasn't it? Yeah, Norma yeah, Jean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were they a Christian metal band? 
Yes. Now yeah, I was yeah. about to say. I yeah. assume so because I saw them at a Christian music festival. <laughs> well, yeah, they were from Douglasville, you like, know, so they were just some good old boys. Never. I mean, really back no with harm. them, we all kind of had that vibe because we all played at churches at some point. You yeah, know? yeah. Like I, I definitely. Uh, I mean, like Mike would play at churches sometimes, which was wild. Like they should have never let us in there <laughs> to wreak havoc. <laughs> yeah. I um I I had a little bit of fun in Savannah when I was a kid and then like 17 is where I actually started like meeting people around this scene and I didn't start like actually hanging out until about like 2021 and that's what about when we met and like I it just opened up an entirely new world because there was the scene that I was in, I used to be like a blues music musician back in the day and would play with these like really bad blues bands. <laughs> like, I've seen know. some really good blues bands though. I, and I mean, don't the get Krakens me wrong. Book some sometimes. Don't get me wrong. I had a lot of fun and they were fun guys, but like, like the crowds in Athens and like that playing covers and stuff like that just got old you gotta open it up that was the beauty of uh like swayze's was any band could play there so yeah you would see anything yeah like, you pff, it man. didn't matter like you would you'd see like a cool like metal core band and then like another band would start setting up and then they start laying down a tarp or something <laughs> and you're just like oh god what's about to happen <laughs> Yeah, uh, this band Eat the Turnbuckle played there one time, and they would do, like, wrestling moves. <laughs> the show. That's awesome. I, I would Pretty like wild. to do something like that with, like, like how every time I died in, we're there with their festival and playing music with, you know, live wrestling and stuff. Yeah. I just want to have an excuse did to get ever, slammed through a table. Did you ever play Cloud Springs Deli? I saw Ronnie no. from the tattoo shop get slammed through the table at the Eat the Turnbuckle. No, I, I've been to Cloud Springs before it shut down, but I never got to play there. They used to have a sandwich shop next to a, a hardcore venue next to a wrestling ring. Oh, my God. That's that was amazing. insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the best, man. Rest in peace. Uh, what's, what's his name? He used to book that. Uh, Joe... Uh, there's so many Joes. Uh, yeah, I, I was about to say <laughs> I, Rogan. I'm yeah, a Joe Rogan and one. friends. Joe and Rogan. Yeah, they would have um, they would have knocked the loose play while you, somebody was ordering a pastrami, and then uh, midgets would be wrestling. Knock loose, but it's just Joey Diaz and <laughs> like some cover band doing Rage Against the Machine. What, covers. What's the band that Ice T was in? Oh, Body Count. Yeah, yeah. man, they go <laughs> hard. Uh, body Count at Cloud Springs, Philly. <laughs> I'd kill to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what else is Ice T known for at this point? You know, like that he has that TV show. <laughs> he he creates new drugs on every episode of Law and Order. Like he, he's like, you know, he's on this new drug called, you know, <laughs> what's his face? And when you take it, and you lose your face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch any of that stuff. I feel like it. It just, it's wasting my time, you know. It's a fun thing to fall asleep to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> for sure. And I'm like, what What are we doing here? Is this supposed to be realistic? <laughs> no. Is this supposed to be funny? Like, what? Do, I'm not sure what the Absolutely angle is. Absolutely not. <laughs> but, After you know. After all the stuff they went through, they're still cops for 20 years. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, that might be the most realistic thing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like a soap opera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the most realistic thing is that none of them have gotten a raise. <laughs> none of them have gotten a raise or have actually lost their jobs. <laughs> the only way they lose their jobs is if they die. <laughs> yeah, did you ever watch like the X Files? Uh, I never got into the X Files. <laughs> I my sister was more into like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so I like grew up watching the spinoff Angel a lot, and <laughs> that was goofy enough <laughs> <laughs> what was it a there was a spinoff of buffy the vampire there's a spin -off. oh there's a spinoff dude it's got david boreanaz from bones and he <laughs> plays a vampire but he like he's a vampire who regained his soul man this is tv right oh here. it's 
Wow, chef's kiss. <laughs> Down. It also produced by Joss Whedon, who made the Disaster Avengers movies. The Taylor used to watch this show, Lucifer. I, and um, I watched a few episodes of that. It was about like this guy who is apparently like the devil. Yeah. And then yeah. he comes to Earth and he just starts like banging chicks <laughs> and like drinking at the bar. Pretty much. But then like like solving crimes. I, I watch at the mercy of the Facebook reels. <laughs> it shows me all kinds of episodes of TV shows that I've never watched. Really? Oh, yeah. My my reels is just chaos. <laughs> like pure dumpster fire. That's where my Instagram reels are. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram reels are full of like singers who I promise like have just never heard themselves before. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey man, some people don't have it. I don't. I, I'm not that uh, a great singer. I can yell into a microphone. I just think it takes Here practice. <laughs> And like you Let have me get to a forty ounce from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy a cigarette? I'm moving. <laughs> hey, now you're doing fist face lyrics. <laughs> oh man, we need to bring fist face back. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, Josh was helping us a lot. He was recording songs, and he was uh, playing the bass live. <laughs> So we, we're kind of lost without Rusty, you know. <laughs> his truck's not working, and uh, he's he's got to get it fixed. Dang me, Rusty. He's not going to be able to pick up his son from daycare. <sighs> no good. So his face is on hiatus. Also, Billy Hill went to prison. Oh, man. For 35 years. He done and he didn't it. even do nothing. He done turned around and done got his life all shock <laughs> <ogled. laughs> <laughs> He he promised he wasn't even uh, huffing gasoline no more. <laughs> he wasn't doing nothing. Called him with some ready whip the other day. So yeah, if that's singing, I can do that. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. If as long as you own it, like <laughs> you can make it work. Like I, you really can't say much. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about all I can do. I can play, you know, bass, all right, and I can play guitar a little bit yeah i'm a pretty like mediocre guitar player um i'm good enough to write songs i like performing i screw up all the time and yeah i it's i'm about the same at bass and everything else <laughs> <laughs> I, I started learning how to play the keys during covid i've been coming along i, I learned that a little bit in church but i kind of like hit a little like slow point once i figured out like how to make chords with the black keys i was yeah. just like oh got it yeah, good yeah. <laughs> and you know didn't Plateau. really try yeah i think yeah you got to start trying to play like some classical pieces and, and all that and so dude honestly pokemon music is like, yeah i had a friend who's really good at piano and he would play like all the pokemon themes and i was like dude this is i just insane. wanted to learn how to play the little smoke honest theme or the sexual man chocolate theme from <laughs> attack attack <laughs> yeah do -do 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 -do. That, that, <laughs> nobody could tell me anything at that point yeah, whatever happened to bands with the synth? I want to bring it back, but they, I mean, they they have their niche in like the world. Four Years Strong used to have the synth. I saw them play they with the, the synth guy before. That guy was wild. Oh, man. It was sick. He, uh, that band really held on tight for a long time, and they're still going. Uh, yeah, they're still doing it. It's not the same to me. I liked it. I don't know. They... They they got they got kind of weird with it. Yeah, I mean you can only go so far with the easy core, you know. Like it feels like they're all dads now, and that's okay. But like, I'm tired. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. E easy core is having a easy core is coming back, man. L uh, Belmont dropped the album. Oh yeah, Belmont. <laughs> it was sick. It's a sick album. They they're also like progressing into country metal too with the whole she's my <laughs> country girl <laughs> that stuff is amazing like i it, i'm just pissed <laughs> that they beat me to it <laughs> yeah i i like what they're doing right now man it's very 
bouncy, very like yeah, just heavy pop punk. Yeah. Essentially. Uh I my friends have been choking around about uh Ronnie Radke recently and uh he just dropped Yeah, he a dropped new that song. song with Tech Nine or whatever. Uh the music video is pretty sweet, dude. It's pretty tight, <laughs> but like I it it, I'm really mad that I like it. I'm just like, ah. You saw that music video where he's in like the superhero thing? And yeah, he, like, he uses, looks like a goofy goober. And then he fights like the Balrog <laughs> at the end. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the video, though. It's like, yeah. Like, he, it's he is on his final quest before he, like, gets rid of Skyrim. Dude, I. It's weird, man. Like. Didn't he like beat up a chick and throw her out of a moving car or something? Wasn't that he? He went to prison, I think. Yeah, no, he actual prison. Well, that's the thing. He went to he went to prison, and he still continues to say a whole bunch of like (laughs) raunchy stuff that nobody really likes except for his fans. And you know, it's just it's very tiresome to watch him continue to pull up the uh, falling in (laughs) falling in reverse. (laughs) You don't know who Ronnie Reggie is. Oh dear, yeah. P- following him, what's that? I don't even know. Oh, it's called Ronald. Ronald. Watch it. Just uh, watch the whole music video. You know, we're gonna post this, and he's probably going. To oh, see you're it. right. He's gonna comment on he's it. He's going to comment. Or like, nice something. fucking podcast, losers. But that's okay. I have ten million dollars. You know what? The, with the Kendrick and Drake something beef like going that. on, I can handle a beef with Ronnie. Rick. <laughs> yeah, give us some volume. But oh, is it gonna pick up on here? All right, because he'll definitely mute that shit. But like, look at that production value on the music. Video. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm, the music I'm not gonna cancel sweet. the music video maker because that's, you know, that's pretty impressive, honestly. I I honestly I'm not a fan of Ronnie Radke. I don't. No, me neither. I don't listen to his music, but it is something. It's unique, you know. It's I. I appreciate the production value and everything that they're putting out in the late, lately, like with pr- Bring Me the Horizon <laughs> too. <laughs> this video is ridiculous, though. Yeah, this is. He's been like, yeah, he's been like beefing with people on TikTok or something. He played through Shadow the Hedgehog and was like, "I want this." <laughs> yeah i sometimes i think these are just like really enthusiastic like film guys that come up with these videos though yeah no can't blame them so how how do we get a a podcast intro video like this also how does it relate to the song lots of money lots of money 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 (laughs) It is. It's kind of funny. He's like. (laughs) Yeah. Ryan. (laughs) Whoa, where did you come from? He's probably seen this video. (laughs) I want to get to the part where he fights the Balrog. Well, he's great, but the video just kind of stays there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, God. I just saw that the song is called Ronald. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, it got too silly. And that was the guy from uh, Slaughter to Prevail's Mask Falling into the Lava. I guess he's beefing with him, too. Dear God. (laughs) (laughs) See, this is like a real world death clock character. This is why Christian people don't like metal music. Uh, Christian people? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That and like, uh, remember Franz music videos with like (laughs) chicks shaking ass? (laughs) They were hitting like a 10 foot bong. 
I always wanted to have a music video kind of like that, but I'm like just sitting in the background really depressed, <laughs> like petting the dog. Playing a Game Boy. Yeah, or like playing a Game Boy or something. Like that would be the more realistic take. <laughs> yeah, you could be playing like uh, a Game Boy Advance. Oh, yeah. Like the wide one. Pokemon Sapphire. With the little squiggly light that comes out. Yeah, Pokemon Sapphire. That would. That was my favorite little one. Little iPod Nano action going on. <laughs> Happy place. I never had an iPod Nano. I had a Zune. I I had a Nano, and I also had, like, the updated Walkman. Zune was made by Microsoft, so I felt like it would be easier to, like, pirate songs and put them on there from my PC. True. Yeah. Which... I did pirate most of the music. Oh, yeah. We all to. busted our PCs with LimeWire <laughs> and stuff. Man. <laughs> I, I downloaded, like, way too many Dragon Ball Z episodes <laughs> one time. And I, yeah, I completely nuked my uh, my mom's computer. I I had all the Dragon Ball Z episodes on a hard drive somewhere. The, oh, no the English one. I think I still have it. Somewhere. I've been looking for the English version of Cooler's Revenge. I might have it. Oh, that'd, that'd be tight. I downloaded all the Dragon Ball Z because I knew that I saw things going to streaming and I was like, they're going to take everything off. <laughs> they're going to take it all away. Yeah, so I downloaded all that. Yeah, I have Dragon Ball did. Z and I have uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. I have all of that downloaded. Heck yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I, um. Th- that's like. I'm thinking about like nuclear winter. What am I gonna need? <laughs> At least the, those two. That's enough for me. I'm a simple man. I have Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, and that's <laughs> that's pretty much all I need because you know that story is gonna get me through my journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch the Fallout TV show? Do you play games? Yeah, yeah. I, I no, I really enjoyed the Fallout TV show. Uh, Walton Goggins is kind of my spirit animal, so. I um uh, I really enjoyed that. It was pretty pretty true to how things go in the actual game. Yeah. Um, he just looks like a cowboy. Is he a real cowboy? Where is he from? He's from Statesboro, actually. Georgia? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um yeah. He uh he went s- I think he went to Georgia Southern. I can't confirm that. Don't quote me. But um played a fine ghoul. Um I was surprised to hear that that wasn't an actual ghoul playing on Fallout. You thought that was a real ghoul? Yeah, I mean, they're out there, so... <laughs> I, yeah, hey, d- don't get me started. But, like, hey, they did a really good makeup job, and I was like, oh, wow, that's not a real ghoul. That's Walton Goggins. As far as I understand, like, aliens have uh, have been here for a long time, like... So uh, they say a lot of the spaceships they found were like already here. I, I see them. So I think target sometimes. Yeah, I think there's real aliens walking around out here. Yeah, I think it gets a little. Oh, Lithia Springs. Okay. Georgia Southern. And then he went to Georgia Southern. Look at there. Lithia Springs. <laughs> That's where Norma Jean came from. He started playing a few roles in Georgia while filming. He probably played at Swayze's. Before he was on Fallout. Yeah. I saw him on um, The Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was pretty good. That was At least for a season or I two. I enjoyed all the songs that they did. Whatever. It reminded me a lot of my childhood and just yeah. how beat up it was with all these televangelists. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's a guy... In Atlanta, who his name is Dollar, Creflo Dollar. Yeah, Creflo Dollar. I like that because it's like, yeah, we're here to make money. He, he know, yeah, you know what we're he's about, like, money. W- like he's about the money. <laughs> like that pros- one guy, he kind of looks like a ghoul. Prosperity gospel, Joel Austin. No, the um, the short oh guy. Kenneth Copeland. Yeah, yeah. Kenneth Co- dude, that was my Paul's favorite one. I blow one. the wind of God. I, I blow the wind of God. <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been a fist face song. I like oh, the one when man. he got cornered outside of his private jet. The wind of God. 
Oh <laughs> yeah, he looked like a ghoul. Yes, in that I've video. seen that. No, that's it's super scary. Honestly, you pull up any of his sermons and they get pretty scary. Pretty doom and gloom. Yeah, bro, he actually looks like an evil person in that. Yeah, I, that that's yeah. I don't know if that's like bad plastic surgery or. Yeah, he looks like a demon. I don't know. I feel like his jaw's just un- gonna unhinge. He's gonna be like, ah, I blow the wind of God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew Stanley does uh, stand up comedy. The grandson of Andrew Stanley. No way. Yeah, that's wild. I- is it? But Andrew Stanley is like, as I think he's just like a nice guy. Does he, I mean, does he do, like, clean comedy, at least? Yeah, he does, like, church-friendly comedy, oh, okay. pretty much. But he's a normal guy. Oh, okay, okay. He's not, like, a righteous gemstone or anything. That's Really fair. nice guy. He, he, caught, he was caught up in it. So you know, I, I, you but know, that's, you know, he was born. Well, he was born there, I, so. I don't know. I, uh, Andy Stanley, was. Uh, he might have been built different. He, yeah. He was just, like, a big deal, I think. Fair. I don't know if he was really, like, flying private jets and... <laughs> Uh, buying diamond chains and stuff. Yeah, a l- a lot of pastors honestly live pretty good and tax free, <laughs> but <laughs> but like you know, that's just that's America, you know. So uh, that's the wind of God. You, that's the Holy Spirit. You know, you tax churches. You them. give them, you give them a say. You should so. probably tax. Well, yeah, yeah. You don't want to. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you get representation in, in Congress. They're already involved in politics. Oh yeah. yeah, it's already bad. Like when you tax churches, you give them representation in Congress. It's just they it gets even worse. Uh, so people were giving like the uh, the I think it was Hillsong in like L. A. A bunch of grief about like the sneakers they were wearing, costing like <laughs> <laughs> over ten thousand dollars. There was a documentary about Hillsong recently. Really? Was it about like money? It was just about how they're not really great people necessarily. Sure, I they're like human it. beings, you know. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, the documentary felt a little overblown but for man, some of the stuff. They make some good music. Oh yeah, I mean, and like you have like Justin Bieber leading worship. <laughs> like yeah. he, I mean, and he's a great singer, honestly. And like, I, I won't, I won't like diss their production value because they make some bangers for Christian a mega worship songs. <laughs> exposed. <laughs> Whatever, dude. They got some good music going on. They there. got bangers, dude. Christian music goes super hard. I don't they pay their like <laughs> mastering guy like millions of dollars. I mean they get a lot they recruit a lot of great musicians like, you know, yeah. Justin Bieber come through but like uh the like that elevation church, they're mm-hmm. pretty big too. Oh yeah, he was with Elevation. That's right. Yeah, uh, no, I uh, was that. Who I was used that? to play a few Elevation songs when I was a worship leader. It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, like my pastor would tell me, I was like going way too hard, and I was just like, ah. and then the wife told me, it was like, you should probably stop doing secular music, and I was just like, I don't know that I can do that. But yeah, but why do I mean I understand for like church service it's yeah, like sure. 11 a.m. it's like 10 a.m. on a mo- Sunday like you don't want to blow these people's dicks off <laughs> Dude, and I did every <laughs> time people wailing and crying and but you know like it's it, it's just the way it naturally came out, you know. I always thought it'd be fun to see what some of those songs sound like uh Cause I I played I've played s- so many worship sets in my life, dude. Oh yeah. And so I always wondered what it'd be like to get like some some half stacks and a six ten <laughs> and a real drum kit. Just turn it all the way up. Yeah. I uh, I started out in bluegrass worship music like we were playing like bluegrass hymns and like <laughs> honestly that was the most fun was somebody I had. playing a banjo oh uh, nobody was playing a banjo but we had like a wicked my church had a guy that, that would play banjo sometimes <sighs> we had some good musicians come Dang. through there too no nah, like, this church was real country we had a wicked piano player i i played drums so that 
told you about as much as you need to. <laughs> and I was 13, so. Yeah. yeah. But hey, dude, half of these songs, like, almost half the song is just, like, a little boop, light bop, symbol. Boop, boop, yeah. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah. That was it. So would they have you guys play while they were handing the snakes around, or would you take a set break? We we never we never <laughs> had the snakes, but some some old ladies would throw their walkers like halfway across the room, and you know start start running laps. And I'm just like, wow, you know, God heals those ACLs, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you know. No, my church uh, they they didn't go overboard with it. Uh, oh, this, well, this stuff. this church that I grew up in was Pentecostal, you know. So Pentecost. you, you had you you had the shouting and the jean skirts, and you know, it was it was fun when I was thirteen, and then I didn't realize like how Rowdy. deep it went, yeah. you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it was a good environment. They yeah. taught me to be a good person, at least. Yeah, yeah. You got to, you know, learn how to think for yourself. Yeah. So. I mean, and as a as a deconstructed person, like, I, uh, I, I think it, I think it's important to, like, instill what you, the good things that you got out of it, you know? Most people, they mean well. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. And hey, dude, I say if you want to go, if you want a safe place to throw your walker and run or do a lap around the room, you should have that. Absolutely. You should have that right. <laughs> Some Roman soldiers come in, start harassing you. <laughs> start, like shoving you. But don't get mad when I walk into the Sonic with my Satan shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't affect uh, public policy, I no. think, is probably no. uh, where... You should draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't impose it on anybody else, you know, like uh, establishing a certain state. In I don't a think so. Either. Certain part of the country. Yeah. It just gets a little wacky after that point. <laughs> like, I, I played through uh, Far Cry 5 and I saw how that went. And I was just like, you know what? I I didn't like the ending that I got. So I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't like it for anybody else. You think we've seen the end of like Christian like cults? Like, um,. Like the ones where the dude kind of gathers everybody's wife up and starts. No, fucking no, no, no. You That's about we'll to see get some started up again. Yeah, it's coming back around. It's like easy oh, yeah. core. It's in a revival. <laughs> dude, it's coming back like grunge music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Billy, I'm actively trying to start one. <laughs> a cult? Well, yeah. That's what so. this is going to turn into eventually. Um, yeah, I guess. At what point do we start like convincing everybody's the wife that they have to be our wife in order to uh, get into heaven? As soon as fifty people are listening, I just want to know like how do you how do you get to that point where some guys like, oh yeah, I, I know you're married to this other guy, but you got to be married to me also, and so does your daughter. Well, when somebody manipulates your thoughts for, like, months into thinking that he's, like, some chosen hero from Delort, you know, it's, I feel like it gets easier with time and money. Yeah, I guess so. You start small. Yeah. You start yes. manipulating a couple people. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you ever see, the, like, the conservative people that go to, like, college campuses and start arguing with the kids? Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't understand. That's a, that's a hard That's life kind of a live. cult. Like, that's that's tough. Yeah, yeah. Everybody just hates you. Like, you, like you're just going out there to bomb every night. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, it's just, I couldn't take it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, they um uh, wouldn't that just that would just bother me if I whether I agreed with the person or not, like it's just some guy setting up shop on my campus to like talk shit. Yeah. And put it on YouTube. It'd be fun to watch. Yeah, I guess I would I would yeah. maybe make up an argument that I didn't really care about and then see how far I could go with it. Oh yeah, like why why can't I rip the tags off the mattresses? You know, like, uh, uh, why? <laughs> Who says I can't eat squirrels? Why do I only get 10 cents if I go to Maine? You know. We're supposed to eat meat raw. <laughs> it's natural. 
Should be FDA approved. They want us to cook the all the nutrients off so they can mind control us easier. <laughs> Got all the fluoride in the water. <laughs> all the chemicals making the frogs pay. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I'm eating Laffy Taffy and uh, double bubble gumballs every day? It's like, l- let me eat my nuclear waste Takis in peace. So. S- some like, maybe like, I don't know, like, all science is a scam. Or science is of the devil. I don't know. What's something that what, you, what the, you could just defend easily? Something that I could defend so easily. <laughs> <laughs> um... I would like start a coalition to like end the existence of coleslaw. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I'm sick of coleslaw. I see it every day. And just at start work. blaming everything on coleslaw. Everything. Fuck coleslaw again, man. Y- you know what? Like coleslaw's running the banks <laughs> and the media. <laughs> <laughs> coleslaw controls the weather. <laughs> it's just like lettuce and ranch, right? What is coleslaw? Coleslaw, Coleslaw owns the Mayonnaise. owns the company that owns Fox News. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, Coleslaw is partnered with Rupert Murdoch, and they and killed John F. Kennedy. <laughs> they killed John F. Kennedy. I call it Big Slaw. <laughs> Coleslaw is the uh, the creator of Bitcoin. Big Slaw. Slaw. <laughs> Slaw's the law. Oh, God. That's something that, like, you missed in 1984. That the coleslaw was running everything? Yeah, that's all they were eating, coleslaw. (laughs) (laughs) That feels like the kind of logic that just gets, like, everything thrown back on the Jews. It's like anything you can't explain why it's bad, it always ends up just, like... You go down the rabbit hole far enough, it just turns anti-Semitic eventually. Yeah. Like, the Jews have been getting blamed for everything for, like, thousands of years. Yeah, and... (laughs) I don't even want to... It's so far now that, like... (laughs) And it's not like... (laughs) It's... It's pretty bad right now. But, you know... It's not okay. (laughs) Yeah, peace, you know, peace and... Everybody love everybody, right? Hell yeah. That? Will Ferrell. Everybody love everybody. Did you watch the roast of Tom Brady? Yeah, no. That it. You reminded me of that when you talk. You talked about Bitcoin. Uh, the <laughs> the joke that Nikki Glazer had, where she was like, "You lost thirty million dollars. You you lost thirty million dollars," <laughs> and like, what was it? Um. You lost thirty million dollars, and Gronk even told you, "Me know that not money." <laughs> yeah, dog. I thought Nikki Glazer just killed. Yeah, no, top to bottom, that that was a good set. She was always good on the Comedy Central roast. Though. Oh man, like she, yeah, it's always good to see her in it because she's just gonna go at a hundred percent the whole time. Nikki Glazer killed. A- I thought Tony Hinchcliffe did pretty good. Yeah, no, he he was firing him off quick too. A- Andrew Schultz was good, but he was kind of late in the in the lineup. I skipped his honestly, but he was, he had some good jokes. So he was late in the lineup. It was like people had already kind of yeah, made people had already just stuff. like thrown like the damn. football down. They yeah. spiked it. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny just how hard they were going after Gronk and Julian did Edelman. Did you watch though. Ben Affleck's? Rant, dude, that was pretty wild. I was like, somebody needs to light him. Yeah, I I really felt bad. I would have gave him the light if I was his friend. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Wrap it up, dude. (laughs) Dude, it was was going on too long. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, it was a long roast, but it was well worth it. I can't believe they got Drew Bledsoe on there. Yeah, yeah. Like, the one guy who needs to be as bitter what the uh the the other player he was pretty good with the beard I can't remember Julian oh yeah Julian Edelman he had a good set yeah he Somebody he was pretty good 
<laughs> it was just so funny how they were just talking about he was a how bad of a Tom Bra- Tom Brady dick rider he was. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was it was good. It felt like the old days, the Comedy Central roast. You ever watch the roast of Trump? That's a pretty good one. Man, yeah, I, I watch it up until like the end. And I have to cut it off because <laughs> I'm just like, man, that's how he announced. Yeah, I was yeah. just like, that's how he told everybody. He's like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It's crazy, and he did it. Uh yeah, all those roasts were pretty fun, honestly. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was a good era too. The, the old Comedy Central. They used to do a lot of specials, and you know, you could get something. I guess. I I don't know. I heard that was kind of a sh- shady company after a while. Comedy Central. Yeah. I yeah I've I've heard about just like s- small things, but I. You know, I'm not as far into the comedy world as you are, so. South Park was on there. I'm really not, like, I, I don't consider myself a comedy nerd that much. I like some comedy. I stay relevant a little bit, you know. Yeah. I keep track of who's who's on the rise, who's, like, you know. It's about how I feel with music. I mean, like. But I wouldn't say I, I'm, like. I analyze jokes or I, I like <laughs> really care about these people. I'm just kind of like following who's getting big and stuff. Yeah, exactly. No, I, um, it, it, it gets tiresome after a while to do that. My favorite like stand up to watch is just like, I like Mitch Hedberg's CD where he's got the bass going in the background. Mitch Hedberg C, uh, CDs and like his stuff on YouTube is something really good to clean to. I like the old Dave Chappelle specials. Yeah. Uh, who else? You know, I don't really watch. I'll sit there and watch a special, but like, I don't know. There's not a lot that have really just kind of become things I go back to. Like I go back to the old Dave Chappelle specials and the old Bill Burr specials. Yeah. Like the old Bill Burr specials. You can go back to all of those and they hold up. But sometimes I feel like new specials, I'll watch it one time and be like, yeah, yeah. I good. liked um I, I one I go back to a lot is uh Donald Glover's first special where he's talking about uh <laughs> the kid he was with pooping in the Home Depot toilet. Man, he was just a kid back then. Man, yeah, he was so young and now I mean he he keeps saying that he's gonna quit doing the Childish Gambino song, and he drops another record. Uh, who else? Um, old like Hannibal Burris was one. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go back to his old specials. And uh, he had a special on, I think it was on YouTube. Maybe I can't find it anywhere. I I because I can't remember what it was called. But it had all these like extra special effects in there, <laughs> like they would put auto tune on <laughs> it and stuff. It, it was hilarious, and I can't find it anywhere. But I want to go back and watch it because it was so funny. But all the Hannibal Buress's specials, I'll go back and watch. Yeah, I, uh, I, I've really enjoyed Dusty Slay lately. He, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he's been he's been pretty good. I've he gone drops back. in around in Atlanta a lot. Really? Like, yeah, sometimes, you know, you'll, if he's doing a show in town, he'll drop in at, like, the Star Bar or uh, Smith's. Uh, I, I guess he used to do that more, like, a few years ago. He started popping off a little. <laughs> I, I've, I've really started adopting his little catchphrase when I'm, like, bombing with my <laughs> jokes at work. Yeah. I'm just like, ah, oh, we're having a good time. You yeah. know? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I... I I, I'm I'm too stoned at work to like come up with my own stuff, so I, I just gotta reiterate most of the time. Yeah, that was, that's just one of those things, you know, like it, it breaks the tension in the room. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't know what else I can do. I can't pop off and start singing. I, I guess I could. Yeah, I'm not good at like, well, I, Sometimes I can turn a bomb around, but I usually do it with a good enough joke. I'm like, okay, right, that one wasn't up your you alley. Let me try this one. Stuff for yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I don't have anything they can turn it around just like by just saying it or 
It's like that's when when my worst fear is like any time I I get to play a show or something with a live band and shit starts breaking uh, with the band and they have to stop for technical difficulties. Like I uh, immediately have to assume the role of a stand up comedian. Yeah, and it's sometimes it's my worst nightmare. It's like I I would love to do it because I start th- insulting them. I think I'm a, yeah. Like you look like a little bitch. Right Just now. go on my Philadelphia rant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start ranting about the vaccine or something. Man, it's not even tested. We don't know the long term effects. Just go on the coleslaw rant again. <laughs> it's coleslaw. Co- it's my full call to action. I I hate it so much. I, I can't I can't see why anybody would ever eat it. Big slaw is going into. Underprivileged villages. Big slaw, if you see this, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Big, I, Big slaw actually created the Jeffrey Epstein's island. That's what I heard. Um, I want to know how they got the name the Virgin Islands. That sounds suspicious to me. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't a volcano. They just like. I like, don't know, man. Like it sounds like somebody weird made that name. Here we go, Trent. Columbus gave them the name Santa Ursula Las Santa Once Ursula Mil- Las Once Mil- Mil- Okie dokie. Saint Ursula and her eleven thousand ver- somebody made that. Eleven thousand? That's she's pretty powerful. That's from the government website. Somebody made that shit up, dude. Jeffrey Epstein wrote that himself. Yeah, I don't he know. He was probably on the board. That's fair. Was, uh, yeah, was that we'll just exactly say like Columbus did it, man? Just <laughs> <laughs> how many virgins should we say that Saint, Saint Ursula has? Ursula and the eleven thousand virgins. How much is it? How many are we gonna need? We need a virgin army. <laughs> how many people do you think were? I guess they had to account for everybody on three ships, right? So what's that like? Uh, like a thousand people. I don't know, like man. That? I can't do math. I don't know. How many people are on an average ship? About like seven. Seven people? Yeah. I think you need more than that. At no. least seven. At least, yeah. I was at, say least at least 30, seven. I feel like. Maybe 20. I don't know. I th- I think I think the captain just rolls like a D&D dice. And, you know, that's the crew that they go with at the time. <laughs> Whatever side it lands on. <laughs> yeah. right, we need about uh, 13. Arr, give me 20. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. So this has been going on since you. Like. There's always been a, something going on over there. Where did they get these 11,000 virgins? Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, dude. There is not eleven thousand <laughs> virgins at Costco. <laughs> mostly moms. <laughs> Around here is mostly the Asian moms, and you know they got a couple of kids, like a couple of Korean kids running around Costco. <laughs> <laughs> eleven thousand virgins, maybe. I'm telling you, somebody made that up. Somebody. GameStop distribution center. We're well. Where do you think all those jihad virgins come from? Those come from Allah. Those are in heaven. You yeah, to, yeah. No, you he, have to literally to like create. blow up a building to get one of those. She had to find them. <laughs> <laughs> Saint Ursula. Who's all Saint Ursula? Them. And why does she have 11,000 virgins? A martyr. British virgin and martyr. Oh, okay. Well, all right. She sounds pretty cool. She's British, though. So she gathered up 11,000 virgins? That sounds like one of those Christian cults I was talking about earlier. So 11,000 British virgin virgins. Well, I mean, it was 383 AD, so they're not Doctor Who fans. So... <laughs> <laughs> Three not yet. <laughs> three eighty three AD. Okay, yeah. Somebody made this up. 
Somebody, somebody made this whole thing. Yeah, up. no. Her name's Ursula. She sounds, she's British. She sounds badass. I don't know what she did, but click on that first one. What is Saint Ursula known for? Did she have a sword? Order oh, of she, nuns who founded schools for the education of girls and women throughout Europe. Okay, that's they, pretty and cool. And then they what? They killed her for that? Oh, it's the nun lady. That well, actually yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, why? Well, I mean, it was a... Yeah, they didn't want women to be educated back then, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good for her, though. Good for you, St. Ur- Ursula. You deserve your 11,000 virgins. Yeah, all right, whatever. But you don't get to put a pedophile island on there. That's not cool. No, nah, no, nah, That's nah. like the opposite of this. Yeah. She she had her Catholic cult. Well, he just saw it and, like... She got you know, martyred like Waco. You know, it... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't start the fire. All right, let's get out of here. You got a uh, new song coming out? Yep, got a new song coming out. Uh, Watch Your Step out uh, May 17th on all streaming services. There's a pre save link on my Instagram, my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of that is John Mark Hendricks. Uh, yeah, so nice to name me twice, man. It's uh, It's your full name? That's my full name. Nice. Me and Trent both have full name Instagram handles. Heck yeah. We we were cool enough. John Mark Hendricks. Check it out, y'all. Thanks. Peace. This is my sixth first take. You just gotta realize that everybody's gonna be on your tail from five o'clock until the day you die. Yeah, I get the flow like a hero, throw like a blow to the nose by the kilo. Fuck you, pay me crazy like CeeLo Green by the OZ. Everybody know me, MG, hot black cop to the OD. Oh God, oh me, oh my, I'm too weird to live, I'm too rare to die. Flatline, you just throwing they shots at my nine lives. High times, I rise in a high price. No love for the fame, never swipe right. Two buzz duck fuzz the red light, get out of sight and find time to assess the damage. I might be a little bit of a wild card. Never disregard, never know what's next When I blow the place and leave the race Don't call me later, I'm not your hero No mask and I'm back to zero Not killing the catastrophes Plastering my face, massive with TV Screen screaming to see me bleed But these people won't pay my fees Seething and I'm stuck at the scene of the crime And it's time that I left it Experts perplexed with no place to exit Top rope to walk with no net to catch you Such a strange gift, you think the Lord bless you But sometimes you just gotta yeah. Hearing all the noise, it gets them closer to the point of losing everything they keep on holding on to, but they can't control the static. You think you're emphatic, traffic to your cracks and naps is back in from the corner that you try to plan attacks with. Don't sweat, already no deal. Don't need a big green fiddle, unsettled real scheme. Looking through the screen door alone, what I'm looking for, but I know what the guy back tell him that I want more. We're gonna even the score. Run me my check and put points on the board. Dance in the end zone, I hop in my end zone. I glance in my foot and put it to the floor. Sometimes you just gotta be dope. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta be Song called Watch Your Step Out May 17 on all the Check it out.